this is Lizzie with a love from Lizzie August 2017 card kit unboxing video. I hope you're all doing really well and that you're as excited as I am about sharing this kit. I've had some really good feedback from Instagram from the sneak peeks and over on the blog so I'm hoping that everybody is going to be as happy as I am to make with this. Um, I'm going to try and keep this video really short and sweet this month. We've got um, an awful lot coming. I've been teasing and tempting. We have lots of surprises and exciting things to come and all will be revealed in September. So please bear with me. I am um, trying to get all of the eggs lined up, shall we say, to make it, um, make it all happen. So I'm just going to jump in now and share it with you. Please um, check back after this video because I'm going to be releasing the add-on video and the August release video in a separate video from this. So anyway, here we go. Right, so ta-da, here's the kit. Um, as ever, it's gonna come all ziplocked to keep it nice and safe on its journey across the waters to you, and unless you are one of my UK subscribers, of course. And first up, as has done for the last couple of months now, it's another chameleon pen, and this month it's GR3, which is called Grass Green. This has got a really lovely blend. You're able to go from nice, really, like a really nice light color all the way through to a good, nice grass color, funnily enough. <laughs> okay, so now we're into the A4 bag. Um, there is a compliment slip, I always put a compliment slip in and the main reason that I do it is so that you've got my contact details because at the bottom there's all the details uh, to be able to get in touch. The only thing that's not on there is the Facebook group but I'll pop that below because I know how much people are enjoying that group, me included. <laughs> okay, so as ever, five sheets of cardstock and this month we have got a really nice warm, like a ruby red. We've got a pastel yellow, which is almost creamy. We have ivory, we have black and we have a pale mint green. So this is the palette. Now, obviously, this is A4 size, so it's slightly wider and slightly shorter than American and Canadian letter size. Um, but if you just snip a little bit off the end and then you cut it in half, I think Alicia has done a video showing how she makes these A2 worthy. <laughs> um, and, okay, pattern papers. So six by six, and they are single-sided, so they are all like sort of this lovely kitchen vintage theme so i mean this has got like tone on tone pumpkins and squashes which is really nice um so plenty of going on through the background of your card um but also enough that if you wanted to make some of these your focal points of the card you also certainly could i mean look at these strawberries they are so very cute this background although it looks like just a tone on tone it is actually little ladles and spatulas and like just general cookware um they spot this did actually make into one of my sneak peeks so I will share pictures at the end so that you do get a better look because I appreciate that I'm trying to get through this at quite a rapid rate and I don't want you hanging around for ages but if you want to get a good look, hang on for the stills. Um, but this particular piece of pattern paper I found very inspiring when I put the stamp set together so please hold for that. Here um, you've got some stripes, again this one featured in a sneak peek and we've also got a sheet of little stars and that was another one in the sneak peek. Okay, so. You've got your 6x6 six six papers and your cardstock. And obviously that cardstock can be used to cut down if you want to use your blanks. Um, but there's also some specialty cardstock here. And there is chocolate glitter cardstock. There is gold. And then there is like a bronzy warm brown colour which is gorgeous. And then red. And they're pearlescent and they're nice heavy weight. So they're great for matting and layering. Or you could indeed fold them in half and make those card bases as well. Perhaps you want to make 14 cards with this kit, you know. <laughs> The sky's the limit and then of course we've got the vellum and these have all got some beautiful sentiments on like um home is where the heart is and there's a whole array of them and they will come to you not in this cut up fashion so you can leave them all together if you want to make like a film strip with them or it is entirely down to you how you so want to i've just cut them for the purposes of this video into all the different tiles but they do make up a 12 by 12 sheet so you are getting lots of lovely foiled um vellum that last one that food mixer one says life is what you bake it which of course is life is what you make it but i really like it this was one of the sneak peeks and it has bunting in it now i haven't made a big deal out of this yet so far but my stamp sets um that i'm now issuing in the kits are my own they're love from lizzie um made and they overlap so like if you were able to get last month's kit there was a border in it and that border matches in on the bunting in this kit so do 
hang on to your stamp sets, of course. Um, there's also the chocolate peel-offs there. Um, obviously, love from Lizzie ones again. And this is the stamp set, and I'm just going to get grab a nice sheet of white to be able to put it on to run through with you. So we've got two sentiments here. We have got kiss the cook and made with love and now here's these quilt pieces so i was hoping to be able to create backgrounds with these quilts you could stamp them in black and color them in or you could stamp them in different colors or you could like you know heat emboss reverse heat emboss the sky's the limit you've got a nice border to go down the bottom and then that little scroll both of the sentiments fit into we've also got um, a couple of little hearts the cherry with the leaves a kiss and then knife spoon and fork so you've got some hopefully some real good solid images there to be able to create your cards with so now on to the embellishment bag so we've got this month is autumn red nouveau drops which with the pen you, the cherry i was thinking you know you could do the leaf and then um, make the cherry all 3d in the stamp set again obviously it's down each to their own <laughs> okay um and i've also done another custom sequin mix for this kit this is called cookies and cream i love this this is like a really nice warm um, feel to it it's got gold ivory like a really warm chocolate brown and um, peach sequins and it's also got little ivory seed beads in as well so that you get that nice noise when you shake it up love from lizzie gems there's 104 gems on this sheet so you know you lots of bang for your buck and this gold works perfectly with the gold that's on the foiling it you know so when i put these kits together i do try to make everything match as best i can uh, we get six craft heart stickers you have also got three lengths. I want to say ribbon, but, you know, it's, it's tricky. You've, you've got ribbon in caramel, which is velvet. You've got some twine, and you've also got this, like, burlap. Now, some of them are in this colour, and some are in more of a linen colour, but they both match, and they've both got a gold hue to them, so they, they all tie in. Um, and this, now, this is, a, this is a bit of a random thing to add in. It's a magnet. It's just a bit of magnet. <laughs> But the reason I thought about it is in your kitchen you have your fridge and my fridge is covered at the moment with my little piggies artworks um, and photos of him. I've just had the play school photos back. They are adorable. Um, but I thought, you know, you could make an embellishment, put it on the front of the card and then the recipient could keep that on their fridge or something. You know, it's like a little gift card in one. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overreaching. But anyway, here's so we've got a nice metal frame. And then there is like an insert bit at the back if you want, but obviously it's detachable, so you can put whatever you want behind it. You can put the vellum behind it, make a shaker out of it, it's sky's the limit. Um, but the little gems would fit nicely into sort of like the holes either side to hold it in place if you wanted to. And I believe also that the sentiment fits in there. Please don't hold me to that because I haven't actually tried it, but looking at it size-wise, it should work. Three little wood veneers. One's a birdhouse, one is a proper house, and then another one I think could pass as either, depending on which way you wanted to push it. So you get three of those little dudes. And then two round chalk tags. Now, I don't know whether or not anybody else does this, but I put my hot pans on chalk. Um, cork. <laughs> chalk, silly woman. Um, these are chalkboard, chalkboard tags. But no, the cork tags, that's, that's what I put my hot pans when I take them off the, the cooker. So... They made me think of my kitchen. And these chalkboard tags, they are actually, they have the feel of chalkboard. They're like matte and then they've got little glittered um, icons on and then XOXO or with love, I believe. Um, and then we have the die, which says made with love. And then there's like a sketchy heart at the bottom of it. So you could snip off like the made with, made. So it could be just with love with the heart. You could just cut the heart off. So I think there's quite, it's quite a versatile die. So that is the love from lizzie august card kit in its entirety i would like to thank you all for staying to this point with me um and a couple of things i'd like to run through i um, am in the process as i say it's at the beginning of unveiling some really big changes to love from lizzie if you're a subscriber uh, you are going to be in for an enormous treat in september that is as much as i can say now um, but I, I really do want to reward my subscribers um, to say thank you for putting up with me, dealing with me and, um, and for being on this journey with me. It's been, um, it's been amazing. I can't, I can't even begin. And I don't want to make this unboxing a video about that, so I'm, I'm going to keep it short now. However, um, subscribers, you're about to have a pleasant surprise. There is going to be a lot of activity 
uh, with love from Lizzie, with a lot of people, and um, I'm I'm really grateful. Thank you ever so much to everyone. And here are some still shots. Hop on to the next video, which is going to have the add-ons and the re August release. So that if you want to make an add-on, please make sure you make it by the 24th of July so that I can put it into your kit box. Thanks ever so much. Do take care. And until next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.